Hello everyone and welcome back to Equinox where we just had another coconut fall. Did you see that? That was so cool. Our coconut trees are finally producing coconuts and I am ready, my friends, to dive in to the tropical waters task. I am ready to finally make this happen. I want some clownfish over here. I want to unlock all of these other uh, things that we've got. I want to start seeing this turn into a tropical sea water area where we can have so many fish swimming through the waters, breeding, spreading about, and providing us with a lot of discovery points. So that is my big goal of the day is the tropical waters for the sake of tons and tons of fish because they're going to add more discovery points. I don't think the plants, do the plants give us discovery points every turn? They do not. So it's really important to get the actual animals in here. So in order to get some of the most populous groups of animals, the insects and the fish in the world, we're going to focus on this task for the day. So let's see what else we need to do. Tropical waters. We need a clownfish population of seven. Let's figure out how we manage to get ourselves a lovely clownfish. It evolves from a redfish. If I plunk a redfish right down here and I tell him to let his children grow up. <gasps> yes, he will hopefully have crownfish children. I think this is going to work. And apparently the redfish don't mind hanging out over here either. Uh, good to know. Good to know. So, redfish. Like, are you okay over here? He's like, yeah, I don't mind. I'd be happy. All right, well, here you go, buddy. I'm gonna plop down a few redfish. And then in the interest of spreading more of these tropical waters and providing kelp, uh, what does kelp do? Does it spread anything in particular? It spreads the riverbed biome. So I'm gonna put tropical seaweed instead. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. And hopefully we can make a beautiful like little coral atoll is one of my big goals. So let's see, and the tropical seaweed likes to be, it dislikes water lilies and it likes rocks and stones. So I need to make sure it has some nice stones. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put some stones, which have no environmental preference, imagine that, uh, down here. And then I guess wherever we want the tropical seaweed to spread, we're gonna need to make sure it has like a little bit of a stony environment. So let's put some rocks over here. <gasps> no way, we did it that fast. We have a clownfish. Boom, you guys, look at this little one. We're not clowning around today. Eh, eh, did you like that? Okay, it was a little painful, but I have like tears of mirth in my eyes right now that I actually said that aloud. Oh my gosh. All right, what colors can we make the clownfish? I saw at some point having like a cyan clownfish is important for some reason. Um, I think we're okay right now, but what, like, was it so I could evolve coral? Hang on. Yeah, I think it was so I could evolve coral to unlock shells and have a cyan clownfish. I am not wasting time then. Like, get in here, buddy. Your children are gonna be cyan clownfish. I can always add in regular clownfish and he's happy as a clam, even though we don't have clams yet. So he's here, and now that we have unlocked clownfish, I mean, like I said, I can always just add more clownfish in. So I can put one kind of over here on this edge. I mean, it would be really, the clownfish would be perfectly happy over here. Let's get a clownfish like really happy over here. Let's do whatever it takes. I'm gonna be much more aggressive with what I'm trying to do for spreading all of these things now. All right. You don't really like to be down here. Why? It's not very tropical. But if I add more of you, it will quickly become more tropical, eh? What do you think about that, huh? All right, and I think that's gonna make our clownfish buddy. He's decently content over here, if that's the case. Yeah, because it's now, it's now increasingly tropical. Let's get a little, couple more tropical seaweeds in here. Need some more rocks. Quick, everybody, skip some stones into the water. There we go. That'll get more, more of that. Autosave. Our world is getting quite big, so it makes sense that the autosave is taking a second. And clownfish. All right, now we have four clownfish, some of whom will hopefully be content with their lot in life. And I've got a leafy plant that I'm gonna put over here. There we go to get those spreading along the place. Wonderful, wonderful. 
And then I need a cyan clownfish at some point and shells. And shells we will get after we unlock the tropical waters. So now we just need to wait for the clownfish to have some babies. And while we're over here, the palm trees can turn into banana trees if they are big and their productivity. I can change their productivity? Yes! So they can produce even more? Heck yeah! That's fantastic! Um, are you pretty content? Yeah, he's pretty content. He's gonna live a long time. So productivity for a banana needs to be like 1.2. And I don't have any reptiles or tropical mushrooms yet, so I should probably focus on trying to make a banana. So we want mud green and productive. What does it take to make you mud green? 71,000 DP. I don't have that. Hopefully once we get a lot of little fish fish, like the more fish we have, the more, like look at that, now we have 20 DP from that new fish. We're up to 11,000. Let's try to like amp this up to like 25,000 DP a minute would be nice. Who's hungry? My goats. That's because they slept through the night. <laughs> I have the laziest goats ever. Where are my wolves? Oh my gosh, my wolves went hunting! They went hunting and they are coming back with the meat from my little pink or my little purple sheep. You poor things. Hang in there, little ones. Daisies, can I evolve? I can evolve the daisies into a pansy if they were in a forest. I should probably have pansies by now. Let's just evolve a daisy while we're waiting. Uh, let's see, where's daisies? They're one of like the first ones. There you go, little one. I'm gonna go ahead. You're gonna turn into a pansy. I don't know why I need pansies, but it'd be nice. We have the totally coconuts task. Yes. No way. That unlocks lizards, you guys. We have produced 50 coconuts. Boom. We have now unlocked the lizard species. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Look at the little lizard. Oh my gosh, it adds so much DP. A small, colorful, scaly animal that lives in tropical areas. This animal isn't particularly fussy about its habitat and can survive in almost any tropical or jungle area. That is fantastic. It likes trees, it flees from predators, and it can hide under large rocks. Come to me, you beautiful, beautiful thing. <gasps> Look at our little lizard. It's dodging falling coconuts left and right. This is amazing. I am so happy right now. Oh, this is fantastic. Look, and we have a cyan clownfish that was worth the initial cost. Now all we need are some shells and we can get coral going up in here. We are doing really good. Who's starving now? This baby duck named Gidget because ducks are dumb and they can't figure out how to go in the water. Ducks are frustrating to me. Um, they just can never quite figure out if they want to be water animals or land animals. We just finished the tropical waters. Okay, guys, we have the clownfish. We have the tropical seaweed. We've got the tropical waters begun and now we have unlocked shells. No, and Luna has passed away. We have unlocked a music track. We have unlocked on your pike. Uh, quest, which we'll have to work on a little bit. Uh, and I need Luna the sixth now. So look at all of that. Can I get coral yet? Oh, let's put down three shells. We've got this. One, two, three. Oh, this is so fun. This is so much fun. I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe that we've, we've got shells. Look at this. It's really making the whole area come to life. And we have another cyan clownfish. Let's get some coral discovered before like the, the redfish take over. Redfish, what can you become? You can become pike if there's bulrush near you. I will remember that. Uh, evolution paused. Wait, what paused? Oh no, the fish wouldn't hold still. <laughs> so my coral couldn't continue evolving. All right, well, we'll get there. Wait, evolution paused for the coral again. Hold still, would you clownfish? All right, hopefully it'll work. That might, that might take a little bit of extra effort. All right, let's rush back over here. Let's see how things are going. All right, Luna the fifth passed away. I really wish I could like make the wolves live a little bit longer. They're getting a little old. Wait, oh no, a clownfish is sick? From a poor quality habitat? Uh-oh. Why is it a poor quality habitat, little one? Hang on. The environment isn't suitable? You need a more suitable biome? Hang on now, you should have you should have lots of tropical. Uh oh dear. I think I needed more rocks. That's that was my big problem. Uh I needed to have a few more rocks to make my tropical seaweed happier. 
Hang in there, little guy. I hate to see anything that I have plunked down suffer for my, my hubris. All right, let's see. Can I put down some more rocks? I really needed to make it like a rocky, stony area. Is it better now? It's 50% tropical. It needs more oomph in this zone. Hmm. And kelp is not going to help. All right, I don't think I can help this little clownfish, unfortunately. He's got 24, 25% disease. He's swimming around. Because the only thing that can help my my coral spread, or my, my tropical build, is if it's more tropical. I guess if we have more tropical plants over here. Can I put a coconut tree over there? I feel like trees really stabilize the type, like a palm tree. Hmm. What do palm trees like to be next to? The rocks? Is that it? Okay, let's put some large rocks. It seems like I need the large rocks up along the riverside and the, like the coast. I'm sorry, I'm trying to say coast. In order to really make them stable. And the stones along the coast too. There we go. And then we'll make this a little rockier. Yeah, look at that. Immediately the tropical plants are happier and spreading in more. Yeah, suitable biome. Yeah, they should spread over here better. Okay, the diseased clownfish managed to have a baby, so it must be semi-okay. Yeah, and tropical has gone up. I think it needs to have more tropical along the coast that can kind of trickle down into the waters, which makes sense to me. So let's put a couple coconuts, coconut palm trees. Oh, I'm out of DP. <laughs> Up there. All right, well, we are at 12,000 DP now, which makes me pretty happy. I'm sad for that little clownfish. I don't think he's going to make it. His growth is down. His health is down. Um, the chance of a cure is 1%, which is not good. Should I just, like, remove him? He's bringing in a lot of DP because he's gotten quite old. Oh, I feel so sad for him. This is good water. Like, this is good tropical water. It's not as tropical as it could be. But, sorry little guy. Okay, he passed away. Fooey. Did I manage to get my coral? I don't think so. The little, the, we have a lot of cyan clownfish though. And they don't seem to mind having really high populations, which is good. And do the shells, they're, they're found on water. Oh, you can put shells on the beaches. Oh, that's so cool! I love it! You can just decorate your beach with shells. That is so much fun. All right, let's put down some large stones, like the big rocks. Uh, the rocks count as large stones, don't they? There's jungle rocks. Because I want more tropical stuff going on here. So let's put down like a few there, and a couple here. And a couple there, because I want my little lizards. Look at my lizards! I have so many lizards now! That's so cool! Oh, yay! All right, we've got lizards. We have a successfully evolved coral! Oh, happy days! The coral is here. We can make it all sorts of fun colors. Cyan, light blue, purple. This is great. Oh my gosh, ruby red coral would be beautiful. Let's just go ahead and let it spread naturally for a little while. I think that we definitely have... Yeah, we're getting more and more tropical. I can start removing more of the kelp so that we no longer have to worry about it being uh, competing for like riverbed territory. All right, you're out of here, kelp. Tropical seaweed. We'll go ahead and remove the kelp. Tropical seaweed. Kelp can be plucked out. Uh, oh wait, remove mini. Huh? <gasps> I have just... Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I, I just removed all of the kelp in the area because of that. I am so in love right now. And look, we have got these beautiful tropical waters teeming with all of these fish. The red fish are unhappy because they actually want more of a, um, a different environment. But if they peter off, that's okay. They wanted that kelp. Look at our gorgeous, gorgeous cyan clownfish. We've already got all sorts of things going. The warthog has a disease. Chrissy the warthog has a disease from a poor quality environment. Chrissy, maybe... Oh! I think that their woodland has been invaded recently. They really love woodland, and I think that this has been turning into... Well, this is a good woodland. 
Why is it not good? Chrissy, I, I think that you should be okay. I'm going to leave you be because I think you should be okay. Um, you're just fussing. But maybe that's not the case and I'll feel very badly shortly here. But all right, so things are getting more and more complex as we are piling on more and more plants. We are piling on more and more expectations. We are trying to get our tropical foothold lives in the tropical biome. What can I put into the tropical biome? We can add in some yucca, which will actually... It has like dislike species. What do you not like yucca? Stones. It hates stones. I forgot about that. But we could actually put some like yucca over here to have like a sandy little beach, which I think I'm going to do because this will create like a little sand zone. So I mean, I could put those down. Look, look, look. See, now we have a little bit of sand where the plants have kind of taken in a foothold. And I can even spread it along here and it will fight back some of the plants. That's so cool. And now that I know how to specifically remove one type of plant, we're really going to be having a great time. Um, who else can come over here? The coral is so happy to come and join us. What does it like to have near it? I think it, the answer is going to be shells. Oh, I didn't expect that. I was thinking like clownfish or something like that. All right, so let's add a ton of shells up along the beach. It costs a lot in DP, so I need to be mindful of that, but we want that coral to happily spread this way. And I love kind of trying to pile up the shells in a sort of organic way. We'll have to mix the shells with rocks. Look at that. We can get a beautiful coral atoll starting up, spreading down here. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. I am so happy. And who's sick now? Okay, it's still Chrissy. Chauncey now. So ch a different, a different warthog is sick. Because uh, the environment is bad. You're in... Not your favorite. I think we need to work on getting swamps for our warthogs. Because I think we're about to lose our warthogs. And they're not going to, like, be able to dig up any more of the potatoes if I don't have warthogs. So this is, this is quite curious indeed. I think that we need to like work on making a stronger woodland here because it should be woodland here. Oh, wow. I, are you that upset about something that spreads forest has started to move in? Is that what this is about? Huh? Well, with my newfound powers of eradicating one specific type of plant, uh, I'm really excited to see what we can do here, but I think we're going to go ahead and let whatever plays out over there play out and continue to try to get this little tropical foothold that we have got established going because we are now up to 13,000 DP per minute and I don't think that that is a mistake. I think it has everything to do with the fact that we are going to have oceans teeming with life pretty soon. So to go along with that, I want to try to make sure that we get like this whole little tropical area just overflowing with animals. That is my big goal. The next part of my big goal there is going to be, what is the next? Banana farmer. Huh. Maybe getting bananas. I think that's going to be my next goal is trying to get bananas and spreading a huge coral reef. Uh, and then we're going to start working on... Dun, 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 either mushroom mastery, because I do adore mushrooms, or we are going to try to work on in the jungle with some jungle plants to get that vine tree. Oh, that would be so cool too. I am so excited. So Tata's jungle coming up, but we are going to try to make a teeming ocean full of fish that are going to be encouraged to continue spreading because the more fish we have, the faster we're getting DP. And I really think this is going to be the secret of being able to take over our world. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like to pluck up a beautiful seashell from along our new seashore and consider subscribing to join us for this and literally thousands. I'm not joking. I'm almost at 7,000 videos. I've been working really hard, guys. <laughs> 7,000 other adventures, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.